I am very tired of religious interference into our government and into public policy. One of the fastest ways to destroy our nation is to inject religion into public policy and government. All throughout history, religion has destroyed government and society, regardless of the nature of the religion. If you want to see a good example of religion and government mixed together, take a good look at the Muslim countries. They are not doing so well, are they? Do you think for one moment, injecting Christianity into public policy would have a different outcome? The Dark Ages were driven by religious intolerance. The Roman Church and their Crusades killed millions. The Church of England persecuted other Christians and caused migration to America for religious freedom. Many times, they had to leave or die. In America, Manifest Destiny, a Christian concept, excused the theft of Indian lands and the genocide of native inhabitants in North America. The Old Sin Nature, another Christian concept, implied that if you were not with Jesus, you were not a human being. You didn't have a human soul. If you were not human, killing you was without guilt. There is no more guilt in killing you than there is in killing a deer in the field. This old sin nature is alive and well in America, as Christians excuse the murder of abortion providers. The only good Indian was a dead Indian. The Indians were heathens and incapable of accepting Jesus. They did not have a human soul. It was all right to kill them. Our founding fathers thought black people were only two-thirds human. There was no sin in putting them into bondage. This notion of superiority is alive and well in America. It is Christian-based. You can see this attitude to this day in all the segregated churches across the nation. Many white people don't want to pray with black people. Women were not equal to men, according to some Christians in America. You still see evidence of that philosophy today. Chauvinism permeates American society. This notion of Christian superiority has saturated American society today. It is all around us. Have you ever tried talking to someone who thought they were going to heaven, but you are not? That conversation goes nowhere. You may as well talk to a brick wall. When you really think about it, 90% of America's divisions spring forward from the religious right. They are tearing our nation apart. If the evangelical and charismatic Christians in America would just lock up their mouths for a while, we might actually get along with each other. I am a Christian who believes my faith is a private matter. I don't run around bragging about my faith. I never imply my religion is better than others. I don't promote Jesus as though he were a large order of french fries. I don't think I am better than someone else, because of my religious beliefs. We must keep church and state separate. We are talking about the survival of America. Be careful what you wish for.